60 seconds. Will you put some uh, powder on the old hose there? He's a bit shiny. Cookie, hon? Yeah. You're shining. What are you doing? Who are you? Yeah, I am, uh, I'm Butch. Well, thank you for the adjective. What are you doing here? I'm They've got it. Player one, you can go ahead and type in your name. 45 right. seconds. Player two, your uh, cyberspace. Your buzzer is Q. That's Q like Quincy, but without all those dead bodies. And player two, you have the letter P. That's P as in, oh, the pain, the pain. Gordy, you mutter under your breath one more time. I'll have your head, I swear to God. Coming soon to theater. Uh, hey, game. it's a game show, not prostate surgery, okay? 20 seconds. Oh, hello. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of questions. First person to hit their buzzer gets first crack at the cash. Pick the answer you think is right and hit the number on the keyboard. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Good luck. Nine. Let's make it happen Eight. here. Let's lose that Seven. desktop, please. Six. And Five. go to black. Four. Three. Three. Let's make this one sparkle. Try new Crackney. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hello, hello. That's one hello for each of you, and that's the last non-competition I want to see. Go for the jugular. <laughs> All right, then. Just walk this way, if you'd be so kind. All right, first order of business, screws. And there's two screws for you. And here's the deal with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make them answer it anyway, buzz in and hit the S key to screw them. Anyway, um, can we go now? All right, here's the deal. The fish eat fish world of show business. $1,000 at stake on this one. Okay, imagine this. Charlie the Tuna is trying to resurrect his... He should read Charlie's scales like tree rings. A new layer is added to the outside of Charlie's scales each year. Sorry, Charlie. Too bad you blew all that money on implants. Okay, it's time to breathe now. We're going to take some commercial messages, and then we'll be right back with more Jack. Acrophobia coming soon. Acrophobia, the hilarious word game that puts your creativity on the line. Player one. Coming at you, your passport to life. And you pop a right answer, you got 2,000 bucks. Let's say you pull out your own birth certificate one day for some light reading. You notice that your father signed his name as... <laughs> Filmmakers use this alias when they don't want folks to know who made the movie. I got news for you. Your father didn't like you. But there's still a great market for renting yourself out to other dads for two nights. Hey, stick around. We're going to be back with more You Don't Know Jack right after these messages. Player one. Uh-oh, wet suck its shine floor. It's time for a... Your gibberish category for today is Pagan Headlines and Old Whales. I'm going to open the value of this gibberish question at 5000 bucks. Now check it out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. All right, what product slogan does this rhyme with? Now or never, player two, start... That's just one more reason why M&M's are a better snack than a stick of butter. All right, I hope you're having fun. Well, actually, I couldn't care less. I'm just making conversation. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Player two, give me some... You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. 
The selection is Secretaries of the World Unite. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Put it in gear, cause here we go. If your secretary were a secretary bird, how might you be killed if you asked it to work? The secretary bird kicks its prey until it dies. Uh, Nancy, can you come in here to take a memo? <laughs> Okay, we'll be right back after these important words from our sponsor. And by the way, do you think I sound like I've got something up my butt right now? Hugo? Yeah, Hugo Boss. The fragrance. The world is getting smaller. Smell better. Hugo. Player one, your choice. Question five. Well, what do we have here? I'd like to teach the world to do the hustle. Two G's if you get this one right. Pull out your antenna and get ready to buzz. Shaking your booty is great, but it's pretty small scale. Djibouti shares borders with Somalia and Ethiopia, so you should be gyrating East Africa. It's fun, it's good exercise, and it makes the Iberian Peninsula insane with jealousy. We're going to take a little commercial break here, but stick around because we've got some hot and throbbing trivia for you when we come back. You have the honor. Number six, it's number six, it's. This category is known as Fiddle This. $3,000 for this one. Fire up those frontal lobes. Here's the question. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow did a paradiddle. <laughs> Player one, you A paradiddle is a drum roll pattern that goes left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, etc. I understand the cow's going on tour with Bo Diddley. Guess what, player two? You're the one who's screwed. Hey, it's time for a commercial break, which may sound lame to you, but it's money for us. So pay attention and we'll be right back. Play poker online with other people live at www.2am.com. Player one, give me category. Coming at you, Japanese poetry and raw fish. This one can net you a grand. Please use the correct form to finish this haiku. I can't eat raw fish. It always... A haiku has five syllables in the first line, then seven, then five. Incidentally, the blind gate had five fingers on one hand, seven on the other, and I can't tell you what else she had five of. Hey, stick around. We're going to be back with more You Don't Know Jack right after these messages. Well, beer A has sort of a stale, skunky, yeasty flavor. Disgusting. Nauseating. Try beer B. Okay, uh... Now that's fresh! That's Budweiser. Get out of here! I don't believe it! Tasting is believing. When I tell my husband, he's going to totally freak. Okay, we're halfway home. Let's see how round two treats you. Okay, everyone gets a screw here, so let me pull those out. Just once I'd like to get to use these thumb screws. Oh, well. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get to it. Your turn, player two. What? Yeah, man. Come on. All right, here's the deal. Bad vacations throughout history. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, ready? Pretend you live in Europe in the year 1582 and you're looking to take some time off work. If you can only take your vacation on these days. In 1582, the Pope introduced a new calendar, so the day after October 4th was October 15th. And this was the year you promised the kids you'd take them to a witch burning, too. All right, I hope you're having fun. Well, actually, I couldn't care less. I'm just making conversation. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Cat 
category time. Number nine. The selection is animal, mineral, or disembodied head. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Okay, imagine this. An India-based toy maker wants to compete. Your Ganesh has the head of an elephant. He's also got four arms and a puffy red human belly. Hmm, a handsome toy that'll teach the kids all about physical fitness. Guess what, player two? You're the one who's screwed. Okay, it's time to breathe now. We're going to take some commercial messages, and then we'll be right back with more Jack. So in the middle of the movie, and I'm like, oh my god, the good character is the one... Kind of makes talking seem overrated, doesn't it? Air crisps. One taste, and you'll be back. Let's have a category, player one. Uh-oh, best of hits fried spore. It's time for a... Liver kiss, no <laughs> One gibberish category coming up. Illegal army meals. The opening value for this gibberish question is $10,000. Now, don't get nervous, but the more time you take, the less cash you get. All right, what song title does this rhyme with? Now or never, player two, start... So, uh, you got any grapes? Okay, we'll be right back after these important words from our sponsor. And by the way, do you think I sound like I've got something up my butt right now? Your pick player too. This category is known as, that's my brother, but we ain't related. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If the actors who played the Delta House brothers in Animal Delta brother Tom Hulse played Mozart a couple of years later in Amadeus. Yeah, he'd also be the one blurring Sweet Home Salzburg out his window. Hey, it's time for a commercial break, which may sound lame to you, but it's money for us. So pay attention and we'll be right back. Well, what do we have here? If you don't like my driving, stay off the sidewalk. Two G's if you get this one right. Hey, remember the transcontinental road race in Death Race 2000 where running over people got you points? Let's say you're driving in the transcontinental road race of Death Race. In the transcontinental road race, kids under 12 are worth 70 points. An old lady 75 and over are worth 110 points. Who says old people are a drain on society? We're going to take a little commercial break here, but stick around because we've got some hot and throbbing trivia for you when we come back. Which do you prefer, playing games or waiting to play games? <laughs> if you need speed, you need X2 modem technology from U.S. Robotics. Just 28K? No way. Check out the X2 modem. Why wait? Player one, anti- Coming at you, rubbing more than elbows. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Okay, try and picture this. If back-to-back -back Best Actor winner Tom Hanks... Tom Hanks is touch and touch with Spencer Tracy, who won Best Actor for Captain's Courageous in 1937 and Boys Town in 1938. Tom Hanks and Spencer Tracy rubbing butts. Hey, they can do some amazing things with computers these days. Hey, stick around. We're going to be back with more You Don't Know Jack right after these messages. Introducing a revolutionary concept in web design, AirForce.com. Enjoy one-stop shopping for Air Force wallpaper, screensavers, e-cards, and games, all absolutely free. This is an unlimited time offer, so act now. Visit www.airforce.com. You have the honors, please.
The selection is no way to treat a lady. Oh, let's just make this one $6,000. Get your finger out of your ear and listen up. We're going. In The Public Enemy, Jimmy Cagney does something unspeakably rude to make Clark. Based on his ass, Cagney smashes a grapefruit into her face. And after a smart ass move like that, he better watch his grapefruit. Oh, you dirty rat! Okay, it's time to breathe now. We're gonna take some commercial messages and then we'll be right back with more Jack. Vote. What sport lets you wear the coolest clothes? Vote. Which national news anchor baby talks during commercial breaks? Vote. Democracy depends on you. Your Welcome to the Jack Attack. Keep your eyes on the screen, and when you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Cat scan. Don't worry, we're just gonna run a few tests. So close your eyes and relax. Well, maybe you should open them now. some praise for that solid victory, but I'd rather give you this. You don't know Jack. 